Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. In my last video, I said that I set a goal to get 100 subscribers on this channel and I'm up to 110 now. So thank you so much to anybody that subscribed. I really appreciate it. I would love for this channel to grow and just kind of experience my garden with you. I thought that it would be fun to do a Q&A so you could get to know me a little bit better. I'm gonna have a cup of tea. I'm drinking Smoky Earl Grey by Fortnum and Mason, but it's still scalding, so let's get started with the questions. So, first question, who am I? My name is Rachel. I was born in Queens. My dad is Dominican, my mom is American. I have two lovely sisters. I was born in Queens, but then we moved to Arlington, Virginia, and then to Lexington, Virginia. That's pretty much the two places that I grew up. Then I moved to Roanoke in 2003, which makes this officially the longest I have ever lived in one place, which is crazy. But that is because I met my wonderful husband, Matt, and we had two beautiful kids. We have a son and a daughter. I also work full time, but I would love to be able to just be in my garden all day long. That's the dream. When did your passion for gardening begin? I just feel like I've always loved plants. My mom even said that when I was two or something, I had a babysitter. And the only place that I would nap for this babysitter would be on a mustard colored pillow under a big plant. So. And then when I was in kindergarten, um, they did a, what do you want to be when you grow up kind of thing. And I said that I wanted to be a gardener at that time. And that's still true. We were living in Arlington, Virginia. We grew up near my grandparents. My grandfather was a commander in the Navy and my grandmother, what I don't really remember that much about her because she passed away when I was little. But what I do remember is that she always loved to be in her garden and she was always caring for it and whenever I would go over there she would let me water for her so that's pretty much my most vibrant memory of her is the time that we spent together in the garden. What's something you love about yourself? I like to think that I can come up with kind of a bright side of any situation. I can come up with at least it's not this, this, or this, like that. I've been practicing a lot of mindfulness and researching mindfulness, and I've read that when you, when you tell people, well, at least, you know, your leg didn't fall off or whatever, they think that you're not listening to them or processing what they're saying. So if, I, if you ever see me doing that, that's not what I'm trying to do. I just hate to see anybody sad. And I always want to point out, hey, at least your leg didn't fall off, you know? I think I've just always kind of been a silver lining kind of kid. And I don't think I'll ever stop doing that, nor do I want to. What do you like to do other than gardening or being a mom? I love being a mom. I love books. I like reading them. I like collecting them. I like to stare at them on my shelf. <laughs> I mean, I just love books. I'm not a Kindle kind of girl. I like the old fashioned. Get in bed or take a bath with a book. It's just, it's so relaxing. There's something about holding it in your hand that I still cherish and love. I also am really into yoga and I find that as I've gotten older, if I'm not practicing yoga, I can feel a difference within a couple of days. Just my mobility is so much better when I'm dedicated to practicing. I love to dance and sing, even though I'm not great at either. I still love doing it. I don't care. Um, I'm learning French currently. I love to take drives in the countryside. I could drive for hours just listening to music and taking in the scenery. It's beautiful to me. Three things that I hate. I hate being cold. And I'm talking like if it's below 65, I, need, I want a hoodie. I hate systemic racism. And I hate dusting. I hate to dust five things that I wish to accomplish within a year. I don't know if you guys have read The Secret, but if you think about the law of attraction, it's better if you phrase questions like that to yourself, five things I will accomplish within a year. So these are five things that I will accomplish within a year. I wanna grow my YouTube channel to a thousand subscribers. 
I want to plant a couple of trees in our garden because we have none right now. Well, we, we've planted arborvitas, but that's actually a shrub, it's not a tree. But I think I want a red bud or a cherry blossom tree or a mimosa tree, something like that. I'm going to replace that hideous shed that we have now, which I don't even like to call it hideous. I feel bad. I'm going to build a raised bed so I can try growing vegetables for the first time. And I want to actually use my compost that I've been working on for two years now. What was your first house plant? So my aunt gave me a snake plant at the beginning of high school. And that thing, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't water it. I, it thrived in the dark. And by the end of, it wasn't even dead, but by the time I was ready to get rid of it, the roots were just coming out of the pot. It was incredibly root bound. And I just remember, I think, I, I hate to say it, but I think I threw it away because I was moving and I just didn't know what to do with it or want to take care of it anymore. Poor thing, but who knows? It's probably thriving in a landfill still to this day. For this reason, I highly recommend the snake plant for your first house plant if you don't have any. What would be your dream garden? I wrote this down because I didn't want to forget anything in case I'm actually manifesting something here. So it would be private, walled in gardens with all different kinds of light coming through, all different light situations, tons of mature trees, uh, little secret hangouts throughout the garden, little secret spots that you could go and sit and have a picnic, whatever. A fruit and vegetable garden producing all the foods that we like and need, as well as enough to supply whoever needed it in our community. I want space for a huge cut flower garden. I want an enormous greenhouse and potting shed. I would like a place where we could have a bonfire. Um, my kids would have their own little plot of land that they could tend to and grow whatever they wanted. I would want mountains in the background and I'd want a beautiful old barn where I could have a donkey because I love their eyelashes. Uh, some of those chickens that look like they have hair. <laughs> Their feathers are like little bangs, so cute, and a highland cow because I love their bangs too. Um, I'd want a lake and some swans in it. Oh, I'm looking for dear old, <laughs> that looks sad, little Genevieve. <laughs> but I'd have a lake with swans, of course dogs, cats. Maybe a horse or two. Just think Farmer Hoggett's house in Bathe, but add three peacocks and make it French. That's what I want. Who are some of your gardening inspirations? Well, I love Monty Don and everybody on Gardener's World. I love Laura from Garden Answer. I love Anna from Southern Entertaining and Claudia from The Organized Homemaker. I also really love Moya with Garden Addicts. Those are all outdoor gardeners for the most part. And for houseplants, I love Amanda from Plantarina and Christopher the Plant Queen. What is your least favorite part of gardening? I hate the heat. I hate being out in the heat. The more you do it, the more you get used to it. But this summer was just sweltering and so humid. I, can, I can't stand it. And I also hate pest issues. That's something I'm gonna be studying over the winter. How has gardening changed your life since last year? Well, it just makes me feel more connected to the earth. And I feel like I could spend hours just studying the intricate blooms of a dahlia flower. And there's gotta be like a hundred petals on one bloom. And each one is just more delicious and creamy than the next, I love it. I love the feeling that I get when I see my, a plant that I grew swarming with pollinators because I feel like I'm helping them and they need all the help they can get. Also, I don't think I had ever seen a hummingbird until we planted our garden in the backyard. So there's that. They're awesome. And they love orange hyssop. Now 10 quick fire questions. What's your favorite season? Spring. What's your favorite color? It used to be pink, but now it's teal or green. I love teal and green. Favorite flower? All of them. But if I had to pick one, maybe a dahlia. Favorite animal? all of them. For a pet, definitely a cat. 
And for a wild animal, maybe a whale or a lion. Favorite food, fajitas. Favorite movie, I can't just pick one, so in no particular order. My Cousin Vinny, What About Bob, The Big Lebowski, Best in Show, Sabrina, the one with Harrison Ford and Greg Kinnear, Shaun of the Dead, and that's about as scary of a movie as I want to watch, and Moonrise Kingdom, really any Wes Anderson movie, love those. Favorite fruit is strawberries, favorite house plant, my parlor palm. I just realized I haven't had a sip of this, so let's do it. Mm. Perfect temperature. I'm not burning my own mouth. Smoky Earl Grey. Highly recommend it. Mm. Let's take that out. Well, thank you so much for listening to me ramble about myself. I'm kind of uncomfortable talking about myself sometimes, so I appreciate you listening. Next week, I'm going to show you what I've been doing in the garden for fall cleanup and what I've been doing to kind of manage some of the issues that we've been having. Just had a massive windstorm today, so I know there's stuff to do out there. Shout out to the garden voyeur too, because he just put up a post on his blog about leaf mulch, and it was very succinct and well-written, and I'm going to do that too. So, cheers. Thanks, everybody. Please subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.